Hey everyone, welcome back to Tragic the Garnering. I've got another one from Goodwill. This time in a binder with some pretty promising looking stuff. I uh, paid $5.52 plus about 14 bucks in shipping. Let's see what it is. So, front page here, there's a Tarmogoyf. Is it real? I'm gonna find out. That's the first thing I'll do is get my loop out and double check if that's a real Tarmogoyf. We got a uh, foreign damnation here, so 30, 35 bucks, something like that. This looks like a foil uh, Nimbus maze, and we got some promo stuff. So uh, we've got, I think, a eighth edition foil or ninth edition foil there. Um, part of a deck, which they show you some of it later. Um, looks like I think eighth edition stuff. We got uh, Swarm Yard. Um, so um, we got some un glued lands or unhinged you can never remember we've got a living end so there's some good stuff shown here they don't show you every page there's a couple of coffers of that binder and then the, there was some loose stuff that was in that binder um, one of which was this time stretch uh, in sleeves there was more stuff in sleeves so that, here's your boy tragic making another gamble uh, wish me luck we're going to open this box and find out how I did right now. Here's the box. This one from Online Sales in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, let's open it up. So it's like a big cube box for, it feels pretty light. It's just that binder, hopefully not just jammed in there. Seems like the binder would be slightly bigger. Okay, they put it in there like diagonal with no packing. So, well, here it is. Let's see how it goes. So I'm gonna do a little sneak peek here. Basically, just look at the front page. And uh, then when I go through it all, I'm gonna actually unbinder it all and go through it a page at a time so that we can stay uh, relatively surprised when we run into stuff, hopefully. so. Oh. We're already seeing some pretty good stuff other than the fact that it all fell out. Um, here's our sneak peek. I was really hoping to see some more future site stuff like this horizon canopy right there. So big thumbs up already. Uh, I'm actually going to close this back up. Uh, I'm going to take it out of the binder and dissect it like CSI style here and really get into it and see if we got some good stuff. Um, I'll be back. So first thing I want to do is check this Tarmogoyf carefully. <clears throat> it feels good. This looks like a unplayed near mint, slight little Nick, real Magic the Gathering card Tarmogoyf right here. So, but I've got my loop here just to verify. So. Take a look. I don't know if you can see this on camera. Oh, let's pull it up here. So those look like proper rosette patterns. Let's see if we can get to, yep. There's the logo, nice sharp outline around the logo. It is uh, what you want to see instead of some mushy edges there. And then of course the backside, there's one other thing to check, which don't know if it's that's I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera here it's a little washed out to get that test I'm gonna look at it real close here in my eye yep that's real that is exactly what you want to see you can look up what I'm talking about apparently you're not supposed to just announce it so that the counterfeiters no, if they don't know it by now, then they don't have Google, right? So that's great. This is a real future site Tarmogoyf, and I love it. So um, we're going to continue going on with this um, shortly. Okay, time to start going through these one page at a time. So. Let's just pull them out of the page first, and then we'll go scan them. Okay, so 
They don't all lay flat because they've been in these binders for a while, so that's got to be taken to consideration, I suppose. But for now, um, here they are. We've got a promo, mana leak, um, player reward, I believe, right? Yeah, 11 bucks on that, so pretty decent. Let's turn this down here. Um, here's a Tarmogoyf. That one's pretty good. 86, 95. It's in a class by itself. So here's a Foreign Damnation. Yep, it's uh, got a little binder curl to it. So maybe I can somehow flatten these back out. I don't know. Um, as an English card, it would be 32. Uh, let's see if we can see if it has any kind of change for the... Um, Japanese version, I think that's Japanese. 39, it's actually more. <laughs> so I don't know what reality will be when I go to sell that. Um, probably more like 30. So feel free to tell me exactly what you think it's going to get me in the comments down below, like everybody likes to. So River of Tears, two bucks, 80 cents. So there's a Player Rewards Oxidize. Very cool, full art. couple bucks there throw that one over there here's a foil nimbus maze and let's switch that to the foil version 2475 again we're frozen I absolutely hate this thing now that's the way it is so 24 bucks for a nimbus maze uh, so here I think is a Russian ninth edition bottle gnomes um, but it's a foil as well, so may not be a whole lot. Ninth edition as a foil would just be 50 cents or so. It's a neat novelty though, as a Russian card. So there's that. A uh, another player rewards psionic blast. A few bucks there for, and a same thing disenchant. Another one cool, very curled up as well. So that's a five dollar card. So. Already at 179 bucks on just this first page. I'm well on my way. Let's see what else is in here, shall we? I'm gonna have to probably reorganize this stuff. There. Okay, next page. Some okay stuff on here as well. Let's go ahead and pull this out of the sleeves. Okay, we got a Steam Flogger boss, which is just barely going to make it onto my list. Uh, sure. Got a Horizon Canopy, which easily will make it onto my list. Again, got some issues with curling. Otherwise, it's pretty near mint. So, 82 bucks. That's a keeper. Where should we put it right there? Uh, a Lanessa Zephyr Mage. 48 cents, that's not gonna count. Take that back off, I think it was another one. Take the gnomes off. Um, we'll leave that one over there. Avoid, time shifted card. Not a big one there. Timber Mare, whoops. Planar Chaos card. Another one, pretty low. Not everything can be amazing, right? Pyromancer Swath. Yeah. So I, I kind of get the impression this was someone's trade binder um, and had some pretty good stuff to trade there. Um, from this time period, you know, some of these rares that were uh, lower dollar now, they might have been worth quite a bit then. Um, and times have changed. Unyaro Bees, I don't know what it would have been back in. 2006 but right now it's only 25 cents a mystic snake as a time shifted card it's also in that same category all right next page coming right up a couple slots missing here but there's some decent stuff so we will take this out as well Okay, Intervention Pact up first. D 
decent. Scout's warning. A little bit there. Heartwood Storyteller. Six dollar card there. Corlash Air. It's a black blade, and this is a pre-release promo with the date there. Got the feature site symbol in the foil there. It's pretty nice. I don't know how much that's gonna be. Five bucks as a pre-release card. All right. Siege Gang Commander. A little bit there. Ascendant Evan Car. Ninety-eight cents. We'll keep it. And a plagiarize. Not so much. It's not a ninth edition. It's a tenth edition. And it's in that same range there. So. All right. Next page. There it is, I see a couple good things. Kervec, the Merciless. Not bad, actually. Living End, even more not bad at 28 bucks. So there's a good one right there. Graveborn Muse, 2.99. Underground River. Four bucks. This is all looking pretty good. Flowstone slide. Not so much. Shimmy Inspector and the mask are also not gonna be much, I think. Hypergenesis, I'm not familiar with, so let's scan it. And see how that goes. That's okay. A couple bucks there. Shapeshifter's marrow. Not a big one. Okay. Next page is some ninth edition. There's multiples in here. Locked it on Warhammer. further we go into this binder the better these cards are getting they must have stayed nice and smooshed in there for a while um, so that's fine defense grid Ninth edition eight bucks great Thran golem probably not quite as much yeah nine cents that's pretty low for a rare this is all TCG market price, by the way. Teferi's Puzzle Box. Seven bucks there, and there's two of those. Groundbreaker. Four bucks there. Angel's Grace. Decent. All right, we're gonna have to make new piles. Pentark Paladin. Buck there. Coat of Arms, that's a good card. Can it be recognized? Yep, eight bucks there. One, two, three coat of arms. Solid. Um, sure, let's put it right there. Howling Mine, we got three of those. Um, it saw it as an eighth. I'm sure it's gonna be similar for the ninth. We'll switch it. A little bit less. There we go. Locks it on Warhammer. Over a buck. Three of those. Great. Still got a lot of this binder left to go. Might have to move some of this stuff around. Bunch of ninth edition stuff here. Got Aladdin's ring. Not gonna make it. Beast of Burden also I don't think is gonna make it. Kerr Keep. Time spiral, that's okay. Slate of Ancestry, that's good too. Let's take off those other little ones. Anything else, anything else, anything else? Swarm Yard, that's a good one. Dark Steel Colossus, also decent. Paladin Envec. 
Just gonna barely make my list at 90 cents. Ivory Mask as a foil. Let's change that up. Ninth edition foil. It's a buck 92. It's alright. And Weathered Wayfair, there's three of these. This is a good card. Very good indeed to have three of those. There we go. Alright. We're really getting there. Um, I have a good feeling we're going to break even at least here. Um, oh yeah, I realized before I go any further with these um, sleeves, I realized I still have this stack that was tucked away in the little pocket there. Let's go through these right now. Got a foil cruel edict from 10th edition. All right, time stretch. This this was a deck at one time, and a time stretch is a decent card. Sixteen bucks right there. I'll put it here. Anything else good in this deck? Oh, a lava born muse. This is probably about a buck or so. It's a lot less than a buck. What do you know, tragic? Everybody knows I don't know nothing about nothing. Here we go. Primal Rage though, this ought to be decent. A buck or two. There it is. Cephalid Constable. Probably nothing much. It's okay, I'll keep it. Now, okay, so that was it for that little deck. There was just a couple of decent cards and one actually good card in it. All right, moving on to the next page here. Um, okay, nothing really big. Got a foil conspiracy. Okay, we got a Kraken. Got a Magus of the Jar. That's a buck. Conspiracy time shifted foil. Time shifted version, regular $7.92. The foil edition is $14.99. Nice. Uh, let's see. Take off that. There we go. Polymorph. I don't think that's going to be. Actually, it's a buck. Righteousness is not. Master Healer is not. Marble Titan shouldn't be much of anything. Really? Okay. What do I know? As usual. Oracle's Attendant. And Reverse Damage. Alright, we're getting there. Greater good. Five bucks times three there. Keg of the Tide Star, the Champions Edition. Okay. Emperor Crocodile. Three of those. Blinding Angel. Couple bucks. Two of those. Rook Egg. Three of those. Don't count. Might of Oaks. Nope. Seedborn Muse is a hit. Eight bucks there. Okay. Got a foil Seki. 
season's guide. Let's see what a foil goes for. Seven bucks. All right. And then a few regular ones, actually. One, two, three of these. Oh, looks like we broke even. Can we do better than that? Next page. Okay, up next, another rice, eh? Bing, so that was a little bit. There we go. Got a foil Safi Eric's daughter with a little bit of a problem there at the top. That's makes it look a little better, but it's definitely got a little play to it there. So as a foil, that is pretty solid. 31 bucks minus the condition. There's a hit. So we'll throw that there. Mephidros Vampire. Not bad. Hypnox. I know these are nothing. They're cool though. Look at that nightmare horror. It's huge. A couple of those. Here's a foil Insidious Dreams and a regular one. 846. Let's see. We got there's three regular ones. Um, and let's see what a foil goes for. 30 bucks on the foil Insidious Dreams. I'll take that to you. Um, let's scan some regular ones. Two, three. Alright, we're getting somewhere now. Great. Ink Eyes, Servant of Oni. Great. One, two of those. Got a Kokusho, the Evening Star. Uh, decent. Pretty decent right there. Sanger Vampire is nothing really much. One, two, three, four of those. And a ninth edition. So those are just going to come off the list. list is looking pretty good, actually. Uh, Repentant Vampire is also not a whole lot. Okay. Great. Couple of big foils there. Next page. Oh, another living end. This is turning out pretty good. Okay, uh, a couple of Night of Souls Betrayal, which was reprinted down to nothing apparently. Oh, still a buck for the Champions version, so we'll put a couple of those on right over here. Got a foil Russian Electrolyze. What does that go for? Let's see, so it is the Guild Pack version as a foil. Would be eight bucks as a Russian. Market price of NA, mid price of eight bucks, low of six. So we are going to count it as an English so that it's on the list at least so there it is that works for me eternal witness times three four of them great i uh, been reprinted a few times but the original fifth on version is 482 times four there they are Volrath the Fallen, this one's got a little play to it from Nemesis, is nothing. Aether Snap is, let's see, the Dark Steel version. Not enough. There it goes. And another Living End. Very nice. Which was 20 some dollars. There's two now. Great. Loving it. Next page. Oh my, we got one right here. <laughs> That's pretty bad. What happened here? Well, we may not actually count that one. It's uh, pretty bad, but the rest of these seem okay. So let's pull them all out here. All 
Okay, let's set this one aside. Unhinged, Full Art Mountain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I'm gonna count. Solid. Right there. This one is gonna go into my damaged pile that I will maybe try to do something with somewhere else. Next page. Excellent. Okay. So six unhinged. And three unglued. Great. Awesome. I'm definitely liking it. Um, probably gonna have to clear off this again so I can work some more. Alright, next page out of the binder is more Full Art Lands. Awesome. Uh, this collection um, it's turning out pretty good, you guys. Okay, more unglued lands. I would never get tired of these. They're such great additions to any collection, right? Great. Um, three unglued swamps. Mountain. Very nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. Great. Oh, this one's a little bit beat up, but uh, I'm still going to count it. Eight. Yeah, we're, we're there. Okay, next page. Very cool. So another pretty heavy play one there, um, not damaged, so I'll set it aside, but I'm not going to count it. Five forests. Very good. And three planes. Nice. Next page. Huh. More full arts. That's great. This is really paying off, I think, at this point. There's two there. There's a couple there. And this guy had some good taste. One more of those, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, wow, eleven, the unhinged, so, another one of those, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of the unglued planes, great. And here we go. Amazing. Next up. Wow. Wow, there's a bunch of cards in this. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna move this stuff again. Okay. We gotta mutilate. Just a buck there. Got a plague sliver. Oops. Not gonna make it. We got a foil Uncle Isvan from Time Shifted. Does it make the grade? Wow, 698 for the foil version. We got a sutured ghoul. 
not so much and more unglued mountains one two that we had already uh, had on this temporal extortion that's decent uh, terror these are just commons they're not gonna make it undead gladiator also not quite that good one two three four of those off the list shambling swarm not really okay next page oh my got something rushing here Visara the Dreadful. He's a buck. Buck something. Sudden death. I'm not sure it's an uncommon. Let's see. Nothing big there. Uh, an Icarid. That's a little bit. There's three of those. Got a Braids. Not quite. 54 cents there. Phyrexian Arena. Pretty decent. That's nine bucks. Grinning Demon. Nothing big there. Nether Trader. That's a hit. It's been going up lately, I think. Yep, 17. Great. Singer Nosferatu. Nothing big there. Um, what does that say? <laughs> I can't remember what this is. So it's a Laquatus' champion. Um, foil version would be $3.99. The Russian pre-release version, I have no idea. So I'll have to let the market decide on that. We'll put it here. Um, I'm gonna leave it on as a foil. Here's a regular one. That doesn't get, not gonna count. Okay, next page, here we go. Oh, yeah, some good stuff there too, okay. Time shifted bad moon. Buck 36. Buried alive. A couple of those. A pathesis. I don't think it's anything. No. Yeah, it's just an uncommon. Soul collector. Nope. Cabal coffers. Pretty good condition right there. 39, 66, that's a winner. Diabolic Intent, also a good card. And there's a couple of those. Summoner's Pact. Uh, different edition, let's check the future site. A little bit more, nine bucks there. Spellweaver, Volute, a couple bucks, and a Nyx. Oh, just under 90 cents. Great. Next page. Oh, good. <laughs> it's uh, still looking pretty good here. Thundermare. like he started uh, double siding it at this point that's interesting a couple bucks on Homuro Homura I'm not gonna I'm gonna give up right there nope I name is one nothing big cosmic larva I I know it's nothing but I check it anyway Furnace of Wrath, should be a little bit, yeah. It's actually a ninth edition, I'm not gonna change it. Droira of the Gitu. Modern Masters reprint, let's check the future site version, yeah, about the same. Goto, Bandit Warlord. 
Come on. See it? Where is it? Alright, I gotta put it in manually. Oops, wrong. Bing. Three bucks, okay. Moon lace, I don't think is really much. Yeah, now. Kumuro's Essence. Um, I guess we already saw one of those, right? Baru. I think he's really not much, yeah. Chainer, Dimension Master. A little bit. Um, is it on there? Mmm, it still freezes up. Megas of the Moon. There was that one. I think there was another one. Oh, we got an Akroma's Memorial. And a tainted pack here. Tainted pack. This one's got some play to it. We'll leave it on the list. Akroma's Memorial. 20 bucks. Let's check the future site version. 21. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Bane of the Living. Not much there. Uh, another Magus. But being an Enderek, who is like nothing. Plugging right away here. Next page. Nothing big there. Kiku, Knight's Flower. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't know if I've ever seen this card. What does it do? 1-1 one, one for 2 black. Legendary creature, human assassin. Pay 2 and 2 black and tap it. Target creature deals damage to itself equal to its power. Okay. Might be useful. It's a little bit. Six there, a mind slicer is pretty decent. Yeah, six bucks there. Yeah, we'll put it here. Next page. Oh, looks like this is the last page. There's a couple empty sleeves at the end there. So, what do we get here at the end? Typically, people fill up their binders, best stuff in the front. Are there any surprises on this last one? This kind of looks like it's play sets of commons or nothing exciting, so. More goblin creature tokens. Myogen of Life's Web. Some of these Myogens are a little, little bit. Let's see if we can get it to scan. Myogen of Life's Web. There's a nice little surprise right here at the end. Almost 10 bucks. Great. All right, last three cards right here. Green Seeker, Small Pox, and Haven Wind Worm. That is it. Wow. I had a feeling about this binder, and I think it paid off. Um, totaling $1,297 off a gamble of $566. So I call that a success. You can call it whatever you want down in the comments. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, catch you on the next one.